Good morning and welcome to Almost RV Perfect. My name is Dallas and you may be aware that I'm doing research for my own van build. Today's subject is a bulkhead partition. Let's get to it. Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. I named my channel Almost RV Perfect. And the reason for almost, well, I have the bug. I want to become part of the RV, RV community. And I'm probably going to do my own build. But I keep hearing things like, if I had to do it over again, or I'm going to start with this and then change to that. Well, like I said, I want to do my own build, but I only want to do it one time. So I'm going to use this channel to do the research. It's going to work like this. I'm going to post a question. I'm going to ask for comment. I'm going to collect all the comments, put them in an organized me method, and then do a follow-up video to share this information with everybody else. Now that's how it's going to work. So stand by for a question. Here's the question. If you had to do it over again, what would you keep and what would you change about the bulkhead in your van? Utility vans, new and old, sometimes come installed with a partition between the driver's cab and the cargo area. This partition is called a bulkhead. Its purpose is to separate one area from another area. The term bulkhead goes back hundreds of years to the boat building industry. In a utility van, its purpose is to protect the driver and the passenger from flying cargo should there be a crash or a panic stop. During a panic stop, any cargo not locked down becomes a missile headed directly for the driver's cab area. To install or remove a bulkhead is purely the choice of the van owner. If during a van build the partition is left installed, it can provide benefits to the living area in six ways. The least insulated part of the van is the cab area surrounded by windows. The bulkhead could be insulated, keeping the cab temperature closed off from the living area, saving on resources to keep the living area comfortable in extreme hot and cold weather. Secondly, the partition could function as a filter for privacy, unwanted light, and unwanted noise coming from the cab area. Third, the partition is mounted solidly to the frame of the van, making it easy to provide hooks and shelves for extra storage on either side of the partition. Fourth, the bulkhead keeps that stealth look. When viewed through the windshield, it's not obvious if this van might be a sleeping vehicle. With that partition in place, it just looks like a utility van. So there's no need to build those uh, reflective covers for the windshields, which is an obvious giveaway that somebody might be sleeping in the van. Fifth, the bulkhead might serve as a bit of security for the living area. The partition is mounted solidly to the frame of the vehicle, so it might be a bit difficult to penetrate for an intruder. Sixth, with the partition installed, you can design the living area with benches and cabinets and shelves for storage all mounted to the partition. Of course, the bulkhead could have a window where you could see into the living area. It could also be designed with a door so you could easily pass into the living area without exiting the van. Of course, with the bulkhead totally removed, that can provide additional benefits to the living area. Passing from the cab area to the living area would be effortless. You could install swivels on the passenger and the driver's seat to expand the living area. The heater, the air conditioner, and the radio in the driver's cab could all be shared in the living area. 
For privacy and blocking out light, you would have to mount a curtain or a drape. For insulation, you'd have to build the drape out of insulating material. Here's the question, and I'm talking to folks who already have some experience with a bulkhead separating the cab area from the living area. If you had to do it again, what would you keep and what would you change about the bulkhead? Now if you find this research information helpful, click the like, the subscribe, leave a comment. I'll take the comments, organize them, and put them in a follow-up video. The subscribe is right there under my chin, I think, right there. Just give that a click. There will be a little bell called the notification bell. Click that and you'll be notified when I post the next video. You only have to hit that subscribe thing one time for the whole channel. If you know somebody who's looking for information about van builds, share this with them. Again, this is Dallas. I'll see you in the follow-up. For those of you new to this channel, there are at least 15 videos listed in the description below. Most of them have a timestamp so that you can easily slide across and see the information I've already discovered. Enjoy.